tonight on GDS, one of the stars of a league of their own as we kick off our A Week of Their Own. Oh, it's a good day, Stateline. Hello and welcome to Good Day Stateline. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. It's Monday, June 20th. Hope you had a great Father's Day yesterday. Talk about a beautiful weekend. We're in for another heat wave, though, this week. Looking at 100 degrees tomorrow. Stay smart, stay cool. We have a great show for you tonight as we kick off a week of their own on GDS. So get this, tonight we are chatting with a league of their own's Marla Hooch, Megan Cavanaugh, who is coming to Rockford for the movie's 30th anniversary next weekend, plus Dr. Cat Williams, the president of the International Women's Baseball Center, and a new Let's Try It too with popcorn, which is perfect. But before we get to that, it's time for Insta Chat. Every night we're breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story, kicking things off tonight at a recent Harry Styles concert. So Harry paused the concert in the UK in search for a woman in the crowd. No, not his girlfriend, Olivia Wilde, but a woman he's known for much, much longer. He told the crowd, I'm gonna ask a favor for you because I'd like to try to find someone in the audience. So we're gonna get really quiet and I'm gonna see if I can locate this person. My first school teacher is here tonight. Her name's Mrs. Vernon. He found her, he fell to his knees in excitement. He said, how are you? I hear you're retiring. I would just like to thank you for everything in those formative years. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you are here tonight. Talk about the cutest story ever, right? You can see a video uh, with that story with Harry talking about it inside our Instagram story. And a big breakup in Bachelor Nation over the weekend. The most recent Bachelorette, Michelle Young, and her now former fiance, Nate Olakoya, have called it quits. The two shared the news on Instagram with Michelle saying, I'm struggling to say that Nate and I will be going our separate ways, but I stand with him in knowing that heaviness is present in both of our hearts as this relationship has been very real for us. She went on to say a ton of really nice things about him and that she's deeply hurting and will need time and space to work on this heartbreak. You can see that full statement in our story too. And finally tonight, everything we know so far about Beyonce's new album, which will arrive on July 29th. Beyonce telling us the album is titled Renaissance Act One, which basically means she's teasing at least one more act in this album journey. Who knows? We could be getting like four or five acts on this one. A Bay covered a British Vogue and gave the editor in chief a sneak peek of the playlist, which we're told is music that makes you rise, turns your mind to cultures and subcultures, to our people past and present, music that will unite so many on the dance floor, music that touches your soul. We've always got more into chat for you inside our Instagram story, including our first look at the second season of Only Murders in the Building, which drops on Hulu on June 28th. Just follow us. At Good Day Stateline, we'll be right back with Dr. Kat Williams from the International Baseball Women's Center.